Did you know that someone might be discussing your life with a lawyer right now? Did you know that this legal consultations could hold the key to unlocking hidden truths about your life? God's words are clear for you today. In this video message, your angels reveal what has prompted them to seek legal advice about you and what are the implications of this consultation in your privacy and life. Imagine this. Right at this moment, in some undisclosed location, there's a meaningful conversation unfolding, and guess what? You're at the heart of it all. But here's the twist. There's someone, perhaps someone you've known for a while, who's been harboring deep feelings for you, quietly admiring you from afar. And now, they're taking a significant step by engaging in a serious discussion with a lawyer. It's not just any conversation, it's about something of immense importance. What could it be? What does it mean for you and your relationship with this person? The intrigue is palpable and the possibilities are endless. Let's dive deeper into this captivating scenario and explore the layers of emotions and decisions at play. This person with a sense of determination and clarity, seeking legal counsel not impulsively, but with a profound sense of purpose and understanding. They approach the decision with a certainty that seems to stem from a force beyond themselves. It's like they're driven by a powerful force guiding them to make a commitment. It's as if fate is bringing two souls together perfectly. You might wonder if I accidentally broke any rules or promises. It's worrying because talking to a lawyer about me suggests there might be a big problem. I need to think hard about what I've done and if it follows all the rules and agreements. I should check laws, rules, and promises to see if I messed up anywhere. If I find any mistakes, I'll fix them before they become big problems. This way, I can handle things well and fix any legal issues before they get out of hand. But Universe is telling you that there's a little reason for concern. Your conduct has always been forthright and above board, leaving no room for doubt or suspicion. Rest assured in the knowledge that your actions have been guided by integrity and honesty, with far-reaching consequences that reflect positively on your character. Trust that the truth will shine through any legal scrutiny, and justice will prevail, bringing clarity and vindication. Maintain your composure and confidence, knowing that you have nothing to hide and nothing to fear. Stand firm in your principles, for they will see you through any challenge that may arise, ensuring that your reputation remains untarnished and your path forward clear. But there lies a big question. How this legal consultation affect your reputation or relationships? Imagine hearing that someone's seeking legal advice against you. It's like a heavy cloud looming over, making you feel all tangled up inside. Anxiety kicks in, swirling around like a storm, making everything feel uncertain. You worry about what it means for your reputation and your relationship with that person. It's like sailing through rough seas, with your heart feeling super heavy. You just wish for some clear skies and smooth sailing ahead. In the midst of the stormy seas of legal consultations, remember that every challenge is a stepping stone toward your brighter future. This guidance, though it may seem daunting at first, is like a beacon lighting your way forward. It's a divine intervention, carefully orchestrated to align with your highest good and propel you toward your destiny. Embrace this moment of uncertainty with courage and resilience knowing that it's preparing you for the wonderful opportunities that lie ahead. Trust in the universe's plan for you, for it is guiding you toward a place of clarity, growth, and fulfillment. You are stronger than you realize, and with every step you take, you're one step closer to the life you've always dreamed of. So hold your head high, for this journey is leading you to the brightest horizon imaginable. Here's the truth. This connection, this bond that's being forged isn't the result of chance or happenstance. It's the handiwork of a higher power, a testament to the intricate design of the universe. Each step, each decision, has been carefully aligned to bring you the love and friendship you've always yearned for. And in the midst of it all, there's this person whose greatest desire is to see you happy, to be your unwavering support through every twist and turn that life throws your way. They don't just want to share in your joy. They want to bask in the radiance of your happiness, to be a constant presence in your life, 
lifting you up when you're feeling down and celebrating with you in moments of triumph. It's a love that transcends the ordinary, a friendship that knows no bounds. And as you embark on this journey together, you can't help but feel a sense of awe and gratitude for the divine intervention that brought you to this moment. Think of the legal consultation as a formality, a necessary step on the path to something greater in life. It's not about legalities or paperwork. It's about solidifying a bond that's rooted in love and destined to stand the test of time. This person who is expressing interest in marrying you isn't just a partner or a companion. They're your true love, the one you've been searching for all along. It's as though the stars have aligned to bring you together. And now, nothing can stand in the way of your union. God wants you to know that this relationship is more than just earthly. It's infused with heavenly love and divine guidance. Your soulmate is watching over this union ensuring that it flourishes and thrives with each passing day. And while this love story unfolds, it's essential to remember that God's blessings extend far beyond your relationship. You are abundantly blessed in all areas of your life, and God is there every step of the way, guiding you with kindness and showering you with blessings. So as you embark on this beautiful chapter of your life, take comfort in the knowledge that you are supported and led at every turn. Trust in the love that surrounds you and know that God is watching over you, ensuring that your journey is filled with joy, abundance, and endless blessings. Picture this. After what feels like an eternity of silent longing, someone dear to you has summoned the courage to express their deepest feelings. Can you feel the weight of anticipation in the air? It's as though the universe itself is holding its breath, waiting for this pivotal moment. And it's not just any declaration of affection, it's a commitment to stand by your side for eternity. This individual, whose heart beats in rhythm with yours, is embarking on a journey of unparalleled devotion. It's a testament to the strength of their feelings and the depth of their commitment. As they take this bold step forward, the bond between you grows even stronger, paving the way for a future filled with love, trust, and unwavering support. Imagine this. There's someone in your life with grand aspirations, someone who envisions taking your relationship to new heights. Can you feel the anticipation building? It's as though the universe is aligning to bring about a monumental shift in your life. And here's the crux of it all. This person is not just thinking about it casually. They're wholeheartedly committed to the idea of spending forever with you. Marriage, to them, is not merely a legal contract. It's a sacred vow a promise to stand by your side through thick and thin. They long to be your unwavering support system, your rock in times of turbulence, and your source of joy in moments of triumph. And as you embark on this journey together, you'll not only find fulfillment in your relationship, but also bring pride to your family's legacy. Can you believe it? After what feels like a lifetime of waiting, this is your moment to shine your opportunity to embrace the love and happiness you've always dreamed of. So seize it with both hands, for this is your chance to step into a future filled with endless possibilities and boundless love. Imagine having a friend who has been by your side through thick and thin, someone you've known for what feels like a lifetime. Now, picture this friend stepping forward to formally declare their love and commitment to you, ready to solidify your bond in a way that's unbreakable. It's not just about romance. It's about the deep-rooted connection that comes from years of shared experiences and unwavering support. This individual isn't just a romantic partner. They're a steadfast companion, a pillar of strength when life throws its toughest challenges your way. They've seen you at your lowest points and have never wavered in their loyalty and support. Even when traumatic events have left scars on your past and previous heartaches have made their mark on your heart, this person has remained a beacon of light, guiding you through the darkness. And now, as they step forward to share their life with you, it's as though all the pieces of the puzzle are finally falling into place. They bring a sense of joy and fulfillment that lights up your world, filling the spaces in your heart that you never even knew were empty. In them, you found not just a partner, but your soulmate, a source of endless love and happiness that you never want to let go of. God's word is clear, and unconditional love is on the horizon, and your time has come. It relates to you. It has for doing about marriage. 
Someone wants to get married to you and is discussing you with a lawyer. God has come to give the joyful news that the person you love deeply is prepared to commit to a lifetime together. As you read this message, take a moment to reflect on how profoundly important this time is. God has given you your soulmate, the person you are meant to marry, and God is making sure that this gift is bestowed with heavenly grace. Accept this gift with open arms, for it is evidence of God's unending love for you. The same heavenly powers that brought this chance about are also there to mentor you through the difficulties and victories that lie ahead. Put your faith in God's handcrafted connection, welcome your upcoming marriage with open arms, and let Him lead you to the joy and fulfillment that lie ahead. To welcome successful outcomes in life and embrace this new beginning for yourself, type Amen. As you step into the radiant light of this divine connection, remember that love is a transformative force. It has the power to heal wounds, bridge distances, and elevate the human experience to a realm of divine beauty. The Almighty, as the source of all love, rejoices in the union of kindred spirits, for it is a reflection of the divine love that permeates all of creation. In the moments leading up to this meeting, the angels invite you to cultivate a sense of inner peace and receptivity. Clear away the clutter of doubt and insecurity and allow the radiant light of your soul to shine forth. The love that awaits you recognizes the beauty within, and as you embrace your authenticity, you become a beacon that attracts the divine blessings meant for you. The anticipation you feel is mirrored in the celestial realms, where the angels eagerly await the moment when two souls will recognize each other. The divine connection that you are about to experience is a celebration in the heavens, a testament to the infinite possibilities that unfold when hearts align. The angels, in their eternal wisdom, know that this love is a sacred gift. As you draw closer to the appointed moment, Remember that the divine plan is unfolding with precision, reflecting the divine spark within each soul. The angels, guardians of your journey, guide you with their loving presence. Trust in the divine timing, for the Almighty knows the desires of your heart and is orchestrating the perfect moment for your paths to converge. In the tapestry of your life, every thread has a purpose and every experience has a meaning. The love that is about to blossom is not a random occurrence, but a divine culmination of your journey. Embrace the lessons, savor the joys, and honor the challenges, for each has played a role in shaping you into who you were meant to be. As you stand on the threshold of this transformative love, know that the angels continue to surround you with their love and guidance. Your guardian angel, in their celestial dance, paves the way for the divine connection that awaits. The Almighty, in infinite love, supports you on this journey, holding you in the palm of divine grace. The Father says today, timidity and fear are going in boldness, audacity, and faith unfeigned are calling you up into a place of perfect love, because love never fails, thus you will not fail. You see, Perfect love casts out all fear, my beloved. Through the work of the cross, I have brought perfect love into every aspect of your life. It is through this perfect love that I am perfecting what you have committed to me. Relinquish any expectations in your heart that go against my promises. Trust me, for I am leading you towards the fulfillment of your highest heart's desires and dreams. I haven't said no, and I have not excluded you, nor have I denied you. Make it your now determination to free yourself from the chains of unfounded fear and deny its hold on your life. The past accomplishments I have brought forth in your life are merely the beginning of a season of great fruitfulness. Are you ready to experience a catch so abundant that the nets cannot contain? Are you ready for your words and actions to carry the same power as if I spoke and acted? You are standing on the threshold of a new entitlement a new experience of the blessings that flow from the cross. These entitlements are manifesting themselves in your healing, your spiritual well-being, your relationships, and even in your finances. Embrace this season, step up boldly, and indulge in the richness of life. I have sent forth my blessings, my worthy portion, and they are meant for you to receive. Have faith, for by spending your faith, 
You are investing in the currency of the kingdom, a currency that surpasses anything earthly means can offer. Remember, I am with you always, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is a time of blessings, my child. Embrace it fully, for it belongs to you. Trust in me, for I am faithful to bring all that I have promised to pass in your life. The Father says today, from the place of renewed intimacy and experience of my glory, is coming to your life a beautiful transformation, like a spinning dance of growth and discovery. My word is coming to a place of amplification in your spirit, even as Adam and Eve experienced my following, when they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. I am walking in the garden of your inner man, that you might find me, and seek me, and step into a new profound level of relationship that is yours to know and enjoy by my determinate will. There is a sound, a resonance of my sound and my voice, that will begin to permeate your life. In your study of the scriptures, you will come across the passage where they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. Even so, I am walking by my word and my voice in the inner man of your spirit that I've created as my dwelling place. So dig deeper so you can understand this as the sound of my wind and my word whirling on the breezes of your inner man. I have instilled within you a spirit that resonates, much like a tuning fork. At this pivotal point in your life, I choose to step closer to you and pluck the strings of your inner man so that my sound, my voice and my song will come forth, be known, and set many free with the freedom wherewith this day I make you free. As a result, you will hear my sound and, in turn, emit my sound, and the effects of miracles and answered prayer will be tangible. Just as certain sounds can shatter glass or evoke physical reactions, you will shed burdens that have clung to you, causing remarkable transformations in your presence. Prepare yourself, my beloved child, for when you enter a room, people will take notice. There may even be instances where someone, seemingly put together, but secretly struggling with a demonic stronghold, will undergo a physical reaction that draws attention from everyone around. Recognize this as an opportunity, for demons are like unruly children seeking attention. With a simple command from you, shut up and come out. You will demonstrate my divine power. My hand is ready to manifest in your life in a unique and powerful way. Do not be surprised if these extraordinary encounters occur outside of traditional church settings. They may arise as you go about your everyday activities, simply being yourself. An angel of change will accompany you, initiating transformations in those around you, and you will carry the radiance of my glory, where in the past was nothing but disappointment and failure. The Father says today, I am doing a complete work in your past, present and future. My spirit is actively working in your past, bringing liberty and healing to every broken area of your life from the fractures and abuses of the past. You felt insecure and unsafe, even in your skin, and I've seen that, says God. I understand the need for emotional security, so be assured that I am concerned and moving with the gentle hand of a shepherd, resolving the conflicts, stilling the nightmares and threats of the enemy that have touched every aspect of your being, your heart, mind, and trust. You are safe, says God in my hands. You are safe and secure. When you feel panic and anxiety taking over, say this to yourself, I am safe. I am secure in my Father's capable hands. The enemy, the circumstance, and the situation may churn and boil around you to the point all seems lost. But beloved, be assured that nothing and no one can pluck you out of my loving care. Your life is hidden in me protected and shielded from the challenges and uncertainties of the world. So much so, that the enemy is blinded like those who grope to find the door when the angels visited Lot in Sodom. They are seeking to gain access, but I've blinded their ambitions and turned them instead against each other so that you won't have to fight them, but witness their removal from your life by their misguided efforts. The Father says, time for you to soar, time for you to fly like a bird in flight, encapsulated in a bubble of my presence, love, peace and faithfulness. You are ascending in worship that you might descend in warfare, witnessing the enemy's total defeat in every area of your life. 
people, forgive them, forgive, release, bless, move on. Even though people may disappoint you at times, you can rest assured that you will not be shaken because your trust is firmly placed in that Christ anointing, my indwelling presence on the inside of you. Be confident and be assured, says the Father. You will rest deeply and live confidently, knowing that my embrace and protection encompass every part of your life. This is your season to experience the freedom that comes from finding your identity in me. As you continue your journey, remember the truth of my promises. Doubt your doubts and embrace my sure word that has gone out over you but the prophets. Embrace healing, restoration and security, knowing you are anchored in my unwavering love. Your past does not define you. It becomes a testimony of the redemptive initiative of grace and power that is flowing down to you from my throne and filling you with those things necessary to reshape your entire existence. Walk confidently and joyfully this day and every day going forward, knowing that your life is hidden in me and that I will never fail you. The Father says today, let your mouth pray. Put more energy into prayer than you do all the vain, unenlightened tactics of the flesh that only make matters worse in your life. I say again, let your mouth pray. E embrace the power of prayer. Every word you utter in prayer is valuable and holds significance in the eyes of the divine. Allow your mouth to be a vessel of prayer, for it is through prayer that you align your desires with my will and desires. When you pray, your words ascend as fragrant incense before the throne of the Almighty, establishing an atmosphere of connection. Never underestimate the profound effect your prayers can have. The enemy may attempt to downplay prayer as an act of desperation, but I assure you, it is a transformative catalyst in your life. Through prayer, you can transcend the ordinary and step into the realm of the miraculous. Let your mouth utter prayers with passion and conviction and watch as mountains crumble and barriers tremble before you. No challenge or obstacle in your life is too insurmountable for the fervent prayers offered at the altar of your faith. Prayer has the power to turn my promises into tangible results and over the top outcomes in your life. The angels assigned to you from the moment of your birth eagerly listen for your prayers, ready to bring them before my throne with anticipation. Don't let a lack of prayerfulness Leave your assigned angel standing empty-handed before God. Know that I am always ready and willing to hear your prayers. I am inclined and disposed to answer you. My default response to your pleas is a resounding yes, always yes, and amen. There is no obstacle too great that leaves me unwilling to overcome it in order to meet your needs. The cross of Calvary stands as a testament to the lengths I am willing to go to help you in your moments of greatest desperation. Let your words of connection and surrender to my spirit bring about the transformation, miracles and breakthroughs you seek. Your breath in prayer is never wasted. It is a divine invitation for me to show up and work wonders in your life. Trust in my faithfulness and unwavering love as you engage fervently in sacred act of prayer. The Father says today, Step into the perfection wherewith I am perfect. And as I am, so are you in the earth. Who told you that no one is perfect? Was that a thought from me? Was it a God-breathed inspiration? No, it was not. When I said in my word, Be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect, I released all the grace and power you need to see it done in your life. It is not up to you in your own efforts or ability. I am the Father inside you doing the work to bring you forth in my image, with my character and my perfection intact as your personal testimony. When the enemy of your soul tears you down and demeans your prospects, hold my word up as the shield for your faith. When life, circumstance or other people trash your dreams and visions, make up your mind then and there that you will believe the good report. All things are possible. I am the God living inside you for whom nothing is impossible. That is who I am, therefore in me, that is who you are. You are the earthly reflection of my heavenly image. You are the image bearer of the invisibility of my glory. Yield to that glory. Embrace that glory. 
Wrap your faith around that glory and see my perfection become your manifest portion in life. So walk in my perfection and express my perfection even in the midst of your blatant and obvious imperfections. Know who you are. Receive my love. Abide in me daily. Walk in faith and embrace the risks by which mountains are moved and destiny realized. Obey me in all things even when you don't understand or for that matter, agree. Be transparent and honest, for as it has been said, I am more interested in relationship than I am in respect. When you walk in my perfection, you will experience a life of joy, peace and fulfillment. You will be a blessing to others and make a difference in the world. So today, my beloved child, choose to walk in my perfection. It is your destiny. The Father says today, my spirit is moving in your situation to shed light on the deceptions that the enemy has sought to weave into your life. I am bringing forth in glaring illumination the secrets that have been hidden in darkness and ensuring that they are proclaimed loudly, resonating from the very depths of your being. The enemy's strategy is to entangle you in disappointment and overwhelm you with frustration. However, I implore you to redirect your focus away from people and circumstances, fixing your gaze firmly upon me, your loving Father. It is inevitable that people will let you down and situations may bring forth frustration, but I urge you not to place your trust solely in human strength. Instead, trust in the word that I have planted deep within your heart. My love for you is unwavering. I will never forsake you or disregard your pleas for help. My beloved child, do you truly trust me? If you do, then allow me to step in and take control of every aspect of your life. I will guide you from where you currently are to a place of victory and abundant blessings. The promises I have made in your life are the very catalyst for the breakthrough you yearn for. In this journey, it is crucial that you do not invest your energy or initiative into anything or anyone that contradicts the promises I have spoken over your life. The enemy seeks to isolate you, to cut you off from the vital resources that will lead you on the path to breakthrough. Therefore, I encourage you, dear one, to test the spirits around you. True discernment is not fueled by suspicion or doubt, masked as religious behavior. Rather, it is rooted in love, which casts out all fear. It is a perfect love that is unconditional and brings rest to your weary soul. Enter into the rest that I have lovingly prepared for you. As part of this process, it is important to forgive those whom you hold anger against. Release those you have unjustly judged in your thoughts. Remember, dear one, that all humanity is prone to evil and wickedness can manifest in every action. However, I offer you cleansing and redemption at the foot of the cross. There, I will set you free and bring you to a place of renewed and vibrant purification. Let go of the need to be right and release the demand for justice that does not align with the principles of my kingdom. Surrender these burdens to me and I will bear them for you. I am here for you, ready to expose the deceptions of the enemy and lead you into a life of victory and blessings. Trust in me, lean on me and allow me to guide you through every step of your journey. Embrace the rest and freedom that come from forgiving others and surrendering your burdens at the cross. Together, we will overcome the enemy's schemes and walk in the fullness of the life I have prepared for you. The Father says today, I know your heart and I understand the anxiety and fear you are feeling about the uncertainty of the future. Know that because you live in a fallen environment, the spirit of Leviathan swims through the waters of prideful fallen humanity all around you and you will face challenges and obstacles that may seem insurmountable. However, I want to assure you that your tomorrows are in good hands. As the sovereign God of the universe, I fully control everything, including your life. Nothing taking place in your life is beyond my reach or my power to address, shift and bring deliverance. Trust me, cry out to me, let your mouth pray. Even though you may not be able to see it now, I have a good plan for your future. I am a God of abundance and life and want to give you the best. Encourage your heart. Lift your head up. Set your expectations high. Dream big and believe that I can do anything. 
when your hopes are dashed and distractions surround you, turn to my word. It serves as a template for your life, providing guidance and wisdom. Meditate on my word and let it shape your expectations for the future. Remember, this is a time for action, not just waiting. I have already equipped you with everything you need to succeed. Now, it is up to you to take action and put my word into practice. Through your faith and belief in me, you will witness amazing results. I am no respecter of persons. What I have done for others, I can certainly do for you. There is no need to hesitate in believing that I can do great things in your life. Trust in my power and my love for you, and you will see remarkable transformations. So, as you face uncertainty or obstacles, remember that I am in control. Trust in my plan. Set your expectations high and take action, guided by my word. Your future is bright, and with my guidance, you will overcome any challenges that come your way. The Father says today, I am with you. I am in you. I am all around you, surrounding you with my favor, love, protection, and guidance in times of difficulty. I know that you are facing many challenges. Your life, family situation, and other aspects of life are full of turmoil and uncertainty. Never forget or take your mind off the fact that I am with you. I am your God and will never leave or forsake you. In the midst of all the chaos and confusion, draw on my limitless strength and refuse to be entangled in the circumstance by leaning on your own understanding and resources. Do not give in to the temptation to be afraid or discouraged. Remember that I have already overcome the world. And because I live in you, you have also overcome the world. The enemy's primary goal is to distract you. He knows that if he can keep you distracted, he can keep you from walking in my will. But I want to assure you that I am here to guide you and protect you. When you feel lost or confused, come to me in prayer. I will show you the way. And when you feel weak and discouraged, I will give you strength. Surrender your weariness to me. Never grow frustrated or impatient with well-doing. Even when things are difficult, don't give up on walking in my simplicity. Those around you may try to tell you that you need to be complex and sophisticated in order to be spiritual. I want to assure you that the opposite is true. Simplicity is your portion. Simplicity is your deliverance. I'm a simple savior with all the answers you need to find yourself in the yoke, easy and the burden light I have set before you. Come as a little child. Let me hold you in my arms. Let me fill you with my love and my peace. And know that I am always with you, no matter what you are facing. The Father says today, make my presence your priority. As you make a determinate and conscious choice to seek the kingdom above every other consideration, I will generously bless your life with the desires of your heart. I have a magnificent plan for you, filled with joy and blessings that might seem like fiction. But it's not it, is the reality of living and breathing and having your life bounded by and surrounded by my glory, power and kingdom strength. I intend to bring you into a state of abundant fulfillment, where your deepest desires and dreams become a reality daily. This is the essence of our relationship, my child. I am a loving and caring God who desires to shower you with goodness. Brush aside any religious misconceptions or doubts that may have hindered your belief in my promises. I am a good God and my goodness knows no bounds when it comes to you. Let go of your feeble plans and strategies as they are futile attempts to comprehend how I will bring about the remarkable things I have in store for you. Instead, I urge you to find rest in me. Simply surrender to my care and protection. Let today be characterized by rejoicing and praise, for I assure you, I've got this no longer should you settle for a mediocre existence. Our Divine Father is here to attract your attention towards a divine sign which is manifesting for you in these moments. Your moment has finally arrived. Picture this, my chambers stand illuminated, ready to receive the transformative power that is about to unfold in your life. It's as if the heavens themselves are opening up, pouring down blessings so abundant they'll reshape every aspect of your existence. Yes, you heard me right. Those barriers, 
They're nothing but frail walls crumbling at the mere thought of your newfound strength. And those dreams you once thought unreachable? Well, get ready to grab them with both hands because, with me by your side, absolutely nothing is out of reach. I'm not just sitting idly by, you know. Oh no, I'm actively working behind the scenes, meticulously crafting a new path for you, one that leads straight to abundance and fulfillment. Can you feel it? That electric buzz in the air, signaling the dawn of a new era in your life. It's the sweet release of chains that have held you captive for far too long. The gentle lifting of burdens that have weighed heavy on your heart. And let's not forget, my dear one, that you are never alone in this journey. You are cherished beyond measure, held in the warm embrace of a love that knows no bounds. Every step you've taken, every tear you've shed, I've been there, right by your side, cheering you on silently. Your pain hasn't gone unnoticed, I assure you. But here's the thing, it's time for that pain to make way for something far greater. So, open up your heart wide, and let that love pour in. Embrace the promises I've made to you, for they are as sure as the rising sun. And as for that eternal pain you've been carrying, consider it a thing of the past, my dear, for with my love, there is only healing, only joy, only the promise of a brighter tomorrow. I give you my word, you will rise, triumphantly emerging from the depths of adversity, to soar victoriously above the ashes of your challenges. Hold on to your courage, fuel your faith, and steel yourself with unyielding strength. Keep your belief unwavering, your trust unshaken. Keep praying, keep bending your knees in humble supplication, for your moment is fast approaching. The drought of despair has ended. The era of scarcity has drawn to a decisive close. From this very moment forward, you stride along a path illuminated with abundance and prosperity, a path uniquely crafted by my hand, tailor-made for you and yours alone. In the hours ahead, those seemingly insurmountable problems that once tormented you shall be effortlessly resolved. I shall wield my divine power to obliterate every obstacle, transforming them into stepping stones of opportunity. Those who dare to murmur against you will be silenced, their voices drowned out by the resounding echoes of my magnificent work within you. Fear not, for my celestial guardians stand watch over every step you take, shielding you from harm's reach. Those who clot your downfall shall find themselves powerless against the might of my heavenly protection. Turn a deaf ear to their venomous words, for my radiant light shall pierce through the darkest shadows, illuminating your path with unwavering clarity. Yes, I know the weight of your weight has been burdensome, but mark my words, your time is now, and the magnitude of the miracle that awaits you is beyond measure. Prepare yourself for the extraordinary transformation that lies ahead. When you witness the boundless blessings I have bestowed upon you, tears of joy shall flow freely from your eyes, and you shall remember this day as a testament to my unwavering presence in your life. Feel my comforting embrace enveloping you, my beloved one. I am by your side, shielding you from all harm like a pristine mantle of white. Doubts, criticisms, and malicious comments will fade into oblivion as I restore your very being. I am uprooting the curses that have plagued you, replacing them with a crown of victory upon your brow. This is your moment, and I sense the restlessness in your soul, the turmoil in your heart. But fear not, for I grant you my peace today peace that surpasses all understanding, saturating every fiber of your being with tranquility. An opportunity beckons at this very moment, an unexpected door swinging open before you. Seize it with gusto, for I have laid this path before you. Do not falter now, my dear one. You have come too far to be defeated. Regain your strength, summon your courage, and march forward with unwavering determination. In this trial, you shall emerge victorious. Remember, you are never alone. I am with you, guiding you, enriching your life with boundless fulfillment, joy and abundance. Know this, believe it, my love for you knows no bounds, and I am with you now and forevermore. My cherished child, hear me now as I pour forth my love and blessings upon you like a mighty river flowing endlessly from the depths of my heart. 
Feel the warmth of my embrace enveloping you, soothing your weary soul and lifting the burdens that weigh heavy upon your shoulders. You are not alone, for I am here, ever present and steadfast in my devotion to you. In this tumultuous journey called life, I am your unwavering beacon of hope, guiding you through the darkness and illuminating the path before you with the radiant light of my love. Trust in me, dear one, for I am the rock upon which you may safely anchor your faith and find solace in times of uncertainty. As you navigate the twists and turns of fate, know that my love for you knows no bounds. It is a boundless ocean, vast and deep, teeming with endless possibilities and untold treasures waiting to be discovered. Allow yourself to be swept away by the currents of my grace, for in my arms you will find refuge from the storms that rage around you. Do not let fear or doubt cloud your vision, for I am the steady hand that guides you through the tempest. With unwavering faith and courage, you shall overcome every obstacle and emerge victorious on the other side. Trust in the power of my love to see you through, for it is a force beyond measure, capable of moving mountains and parting seas. So, my beloved child, stand tall and walk with confidence, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. Let my love be your guiding light, illuminating the path to a future filled with boundless joy abundant blessings and unending prosperity. For in my love, you will find the strength to rise above adversity and soar to new heights of greatness. My beloved child, listen closely to the words that flow from the depths of my heart to yours. I want you to grasp the magnitude of my love for you, to feel its power coursing through every fiber of your being, like a mighty river of endless grace and compassion. From the moment of your inception, you were etched into the very fabric of my divine plan, crafted with meticulous care and boundless affection. Even before you took your first breath, I had already envisioned the extraordinary journey that lay ahead for you. A journey filled with purpose, meaning, and boundless potential. As you emerged into this world, I cradled you in the palm of my hand, guiding your steps with tender devotion and unwavering love. Every joyous moment, Every tear shed in sorrow I was there, intimately acquainted with the intricacies of your heart, your soul laid bare before me. And in the fullness of time, I sent forth my beloved Son, Jesus Christ, as the ultimate expression of my love for you. Through his sacrifice, he bore the weight of your sins, your pain, your suffering, so that you might experience the boundless joy of redemption and eternal life. Never doubt your worth, my precious child, for you are the crown jewel of my creation, a radiant beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness. Dismiss the voices of doubt and despair that seek to diminish your spirit, for they are but whispers in the wind compared to the resounding chorus of my love for you. Know this, my child, I am with you always, a steadfast presence in the midst of life's trials and tribulations. In moments of solitude and despair, when the world seems to conspire against you, I am there holding you close, guiding you along the path of righteousness and truth. There is nothing in this world that can separate you from my love, my child. Not your past mistakes, nor your present struggles, nor the uncertainties that loom on the horizon. My love for you is unyielding, unwavering, eternal and unbreakable bond that transcends time and space. So, my beloved child, Take heart and hold fast to the truth of my love for you. Let it be the anchor that steadies your soul in the midst of life's storms, the beacon that guides you through the darkness, and the wellspring of hope that sustains you on your journey toward eternity. For in my love, you will find strength, courage, and unfathomable grace to overcome every obstacle and emerge victorious now and forevermore. My beloved child, Come close and let the warmth of my love envelop you like a soft, comforting embrace. Feel the gentle whisper of my presence, soothing your soul, easing the burdens that weigh heavy on your heart. In the vast expanse of the universe, amidst the chaos and clamor of life, know that you are cherished beyond measure, treasured beyond compare. From the very dawn of creation, I envisioned you, dreamed of you, crafted you with tender care and unwavering affection. 
Each fiber of your being, every intricate detail, reflects the beauty of my handiwork, the depth of my love. Before you even took your first breath, I set in motion a divine plan for your life, a plan brimming with purpose, overflowing with promise. As you navigate the twists and turns of your journey, remember that I am with you, ever present, ever faithful. In moments of triumph, I rejoice with you, my heart swelling with pride. In moments of despair, I hold you close, my arms a sanctuary of solace and strength. Through every joy and every trial, I walk beside you, my love a steadfast anchor in the ebb and flow of life's tides. In the midst of life's storms, when the winds howl and the waves crash against your fragile vessel, take refuge in the shelter of my embrace. For I am the calm in the chaos, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Trust in me, dear child, and I will guide you through the darkest valleys, leading you to green pastures and still waters. Know that my love for you knows no bounds, transcending time and space, reaching beyond the farthest reaches of the cosmos. It is a love that endures through every trial, every tribulation, a love that remains steadfast and true. So fear not, my child, for you are never alone. I am with you always, a beacon of hope in a world shrouded in darkness. Today, as you stand on the threshold of a new day, know that I am here, ready to shower you with blessings beyond measure. Open your heart to receive my abundant grace, my boundless mercy. For you are my beloved child, my precious creation, and my greatest joy. And in my love, you will find the strength to rise, the courage to soar, and the grace to journey ever onward. Imagine a dedicated shepherd leading his flock through a wide open field. The land has a varied terrain, featuring gentle hills and stony trails. Yet among these, there are areas of lush greenery and peaceful waters. Despite the varied terrain, the shepherd's constant presence ensures safety, offers guidance, and provides comfort to the sheep. With skill and patience, he navigates them through every hurdle, tirelessly leading them to places where they can rest and eat. This clear picture of the shepherd's faithful guidance wonderfully shows how God takes us to peaceful waters. Today, I will share how God, our divine shepherd, guides us through the meadows of life, offering his protection, provision, and peace. I'm also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. As Psalm 23 verse 2 beautifully puts it, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. This verse sets the tone for our journey together, delving into the depths of this scripture to uncover the profound ways in which God gently guides us through life's challenges, leading us to places of rest, renewal, and profound peace. Now, let's explore the shepherd's guidance. Like a shepherd who watches over his flock with vigilant care, God watches over us. He knows each of us intimately, understands our every need, and guards us against the perils of life. In John 10 verse 14, Jesus declares, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and am known by my own. This deep and personal knowledge ensures that his guidance is perfectly suited to our individual paths. Our life's journey often takes us through valleys of hardship and shadow, as well as over the high plains of joy and ease. But in every circumstance, the shepherd's presence is a constant comfort. He doesn't lead us into the valley to abandon us, but to walk beside us, guiding us through to brighter days. Psalm 23 verse 4 reassures us, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Even in the midst of weariness and challenges, the shepherd knows when to lead us to quiet waters and green pastures for rest and restoration. God, too, understands our limitations. He sees our weariness and leads us to places where our souls can be refreshed and our strength renewed. In Matthew 11 verses 28 to 29, Jesus extends an invitation, saying, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Just like the shepherd provides for his flock, ensuring they are fed, protected, and rested, our Heavenly Father provides for us, offering both physical sustenance and spiritual nourishment, guidance in times of uncertainty, and comfort in times of distress. In His presence, we find the ultimate sanctuary, a place where our hearts can be at peace and our spirits can soar on wings like eagles. This profound tranquility represented by the still waters goes beyond physical rest. It symbolizes deep, soulful peace. In these divine moments of stillness, life's turmoil fades away, and we find ourselves surrounded in God's serene presence. The still waters become a sacred oasis where worldly noise is silenced, and God's voice becomes clear and soothing. Philippians 4 verse 7 promises, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. This peace is like a protective shield around us, keeping us safe in the midst of life's storms. Additionally, the still waters offer us a reflective surface, allowing us to see the truth of our inner selves more clearly. In this serene environment, we can introspect, aligning our hearts with God's will and committing ourselves anew to His path. Lamentations 3 verses 40 to 41 urges us to examine our ways and turn back to the Lord reminding us of the importance of self-reflection and spiritual realignment. At the still waters, the shepherd ensures that his flock is not only rested but also well-nourished, just as God doesn't lead us there merely for physical rest but for spiritual nourishment. Here, he feeds us with his word, quenching our thirst with his spirit and preparing us for the journey ahead. John 4 verse 14 tells us of the promise of Jesus assuring us that whoever drinks of the water he provides will never thirst again. This water becomes a fountain of everlasting life within us, springing forth with renewed vigor and purpose. Immersed in this sanctified place of replenishment, we are invited to delve deep into God's wisdom and love. The still waters are more than just a haven for the weary. They are a sanctuary where the soul is reawakened and invigorated by the living waters flowing from God's throne. Here, we lay down our burdens, fears, and doubts, exchanging them for His unmatchable peace and boundless grace. As we drink deeply from this divine source, our vision clears, our purpose realigns, and our resolve strengthens. Ready to face the path ahead, we embark on the journey to the still waters, knowing that though the path may be rugged and uncertain, the shepherd walks it with us. Trusting in Him, we find the strength to follow, leaning not on our own understanding, but acknowledging Him in all our ways. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 becomes our guiding light, teaching us to trust wholeheartedly in the Lord, who directs our paths. Just as the shepherd carries a rod for protection and a staff for guidance, God uses His Word and His Holy Spirit to lead and comfort us along the way. In His care, we find security and assurance, knowing that He walks with us through every valley and wilderness guiding us safely to the still waters of restoration. Hebrews 4 verse 12 serves as a powerful reminder that the Word of God is alive and potent, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates to the core of our being, discerning the very thoughts and intentions of our hearts. His Word convicts us when we stray, corrects our path, and serves as our guiding light. Additionally, His Spirit provides comfort, guidance, and counsel, ensuring we're never alone on our journey. As we embark on the path to still waters, we are accompanied by the unwavering presence of our Shepherd. Even in the darkest valleys or during the toughest climbs, His comforting assurance never wanes. Psalm 139 verses 7 to 10 reinforces this truth, highlighting that there's nowhere we can go where His Spirit isn't with us, guiding and upholding us in every circumstance. This unbreakable companionship fills us with a profound sense of security and belonging empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and grace. Each step of our journey is illuminated by His promises, and His strength becomes our own, enabling us to overcome any obstacle we encounter. Now, let's delve into the rejuvenating waters of renewal. These waters aren't merely to be observed but experienced firsthand. God invites us to immerse ourselves fully in His presence, to drink deeply from the wellspring of His Spirit. In these living waters, we discover true life and find the strength needed for today's challenges, along with hope for tomorrow's uncertainties. 
Isaiah 55 verses 1 to 2 emphasizes the abundance available to us in God's presence, far surpassing anything the world can offer. This spiritual feast satisfies the deepest longings of our souls, renewing our minds and cleansing us from within. Romans 12 verse 2 encourages us to resist conforming to the patterns of this world but instead to be transformed by the renewing of our minds, aligning our thoughts and actions with God's perfect will. As we partake of the still waters, our perspective shifts and our lives bear fruit in abundance. Rooted in Him, we flourish, manifesting the fruits of the Spirit in our words and deeds, blessing those around us with His love, joy, and peace. Psalm 1 verses 2 to 3 speaks of finding joy in God's teachings and promises that those who do will flourish like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season and prospering in all they do. In our growth, we become beacons of God's love, shining brightly in a world often clouded by darkness. As we deepen our understanding of His Word and remain rooted in His presence, let's also extend His love and hope to those around us who are thirsty for spiritual nourishment. By doing so, we not only affirm our own faith, but also contribute to spreading seeds of faith that will bloom into abundant spiritual gardens for generations to come. Throughout life's journey, filled with ups and downs, we find purpose and serenity under God's watchful care. Our shepherd doesn't just lead us. He walks beside us, offering protection and support when needed. It's about cherishing each step, each moment of guidance, and each instance of his comforting presence. The still waters symbolize the peace and restoration God offers, inviting us to pause, reflect, and be rejuvenated in His presence. Here, we lay down our burdens, drink deeply from the fountain of life, and emerge refreshed. In these moments, we're reminded of God's unwavering promises and boundless peace, anchoring our hearts and minds. Our journey and experiences at the still waters testify to the spiritual nourishment God desires for us. He feeds us with His Word, fostering growth and resilience. As we abide in Him, our lives bear the fruits of His Spirit, enriching those around us. Moving forward, let's hold on to faith in God's promises, knowing that He leads, sustains, and protects us through every season. Let's find rest and comfort in His presence, knowing that He gently guides us closer to His peace with every step. Now, let's join together in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude. You are our provider, healer, and source of peace. We thank you for your blessings, for guiding us, and for leading us beside still waters where our souls find rest. Amen. Lord, I humbly come before you, acknowledging my faults and seeking your forgiveness. I know I've fallen short of your glory. Please purify my heart, renew my spirit, and guide me on the path of righteousness. Help me release any bitterness or resentment towards those who have wronged me, understanding that true freedom comes through forgiveness. Protect me from evil and help me resist temptation as I journey through life's highs and lows. May your word illuminate my path and guide my steps. When I feel weary and hopeless, restore my soul and lead me to the calming waters of your presence. In the powerful name of Jesus, I declare victory over every challenge I face. I reject feelings of confusion, fear, and discouragement, and I invite your peace, wisdom, and clarity into my life. Please extend your healing touch to me and my loved ones, shielding us from harm and covering us with your protection. Bless our daily activities, our work, and our times of rest. Let your favor shine upon us. As I pray alongside everyone listening, I'm thankful for every open heart before you. We stand together in faith, seeking your guidance and your will. Bless us with the assurance of your presence, leading us to places of tranquility and nourishment. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, empowering us to share your love with others. We claim victory in every aspect of our lives, praying for healing, provision, and comfort for those in need. Guard us against the schemes of the enemy, ensuring that no harm comes to us. May your presence go with us, surrounding us with peace and filling us with joy. All glory belongs to you, now and forever. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.